Okay, we're now taking a video of Crossing Rocks. Just met LaShonda and she handed me the keys. She left it very clean. Now, you'll still need a cleaning crew to come in and spruce things up before you rent it, but maybe her sister-in-law, if you rent it to them, the, it, you know, they won't care about that. But anyway, here's the inside of the fridge. Very clean. Okay, the microwave. Very clean. She did a good job. The oven and stove. It's really clean. Including the stove. So, definitely can be rented like that. The sink. Very clean under the cabinets. Dishwasher, good. And the paint looks good too. Might need a little touch up. Patio's clean, except for a few leaves. And these, these vertical blinds, they don't open. The mechanism is busted. So when you go to open them from the string, from the pole here, they don't open. Okay, just wanna let you know. Closet, pretty clean. I'm gonna shut this. Okay, so all in all, it looks pretty good. It doesn't really need painting. Just some touch up maybe on the corners where there's, you know, it's kind of dirty a little bit right here on each corner, but you've got the yellow paint that can be done with that, so. And then there's a few little, you know, nail places, but nothing, no big deal. Patio looks good, except for the leaves that have blown in. Screens are still intact. It might need some pressure washing outside, around the garage and also on the patio. <whistles> Bathroom is clean. There I am. Hi. The banister still looks good. It's still nice and white. It's not real dirty. So she did a good job of cleaning. Your carpets will have to be cleaned though. You can see. Okay. Going upstairs. Yep. Banisters look good. Okay, so here is the the carpet that she installed. You see the difference? It might need a threshold right here, which is just a $5 piece at Home Depot. Put a threshold right along here. And then this carpet it might need to be installed properly because see, the, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little piece that's cut out and slipped into the corner. You've got spots where the carpet's not stretched. It's like up against the baseboard. So I don't know who installed this, but it'll need some tweaking. 
and then there's a strip right here. Do you see it? That's just pieced in there. But the bathroom looks good. Very, it's clean. Might need some, you know, touch-ups on the glass mirror and all that. Make sure you're getting that. See, like right there. But the shower, the bottom of the shower, is still caulked pretty well. And it looks pretty good. Okay. There's a little bit of mold on the back of the door right here. See it? That'll have to be cleaned off. It's just dirt. Okay. Now, moving into the little loft area. She left up these shelves. Normally this room would be just, you know, plain. But she left, she put these shelves up, which are kind of an eyesore. But she said it helps with storage and they're, they're kind of on the crooked side. But she said that the new tenant, which is her sister-in-law, wanted them to stay up. Now, what she wants and what you want may be two different things, so you have to let me know. The ceiling fans have to be cleaned. They're full of dust. Okay. This bathroom, she cleaned it pretty well. So, that room, it looks good. Ceiling fan has to be cleaned. This room. Again, ceiling fans all have to be clean, but it looks pretty good. Closet. Looks good. So all in all, it looks fairly good. Looks really good, actually. Oh, this closet is sticking. I think it's due to the carpet. Oh, there we go. It might have to be vacuumed out, but once you get a person out here, 